Most people think MCP tools are all you need to give AI full context, but that's like driving with your eyes blind. If you've ever hit a wall with AI saying, I don't know, even when the right tools are there, this video is for you. You'll learn how to power up your MCP server with resources and prompts and leverage the MCP inspector to debug and fix what's really happening inside your server. Here's what we will cover in this video. Feel free to jump to the section that you want to learn about. The first step to mastering MCP servers, upgrade your existing REST API. I'll show you how I took Vabered, my Reddit-powered market research tool, and turned it into an AI-powered MCP server using resources, prompts, and tools. First, we'll see how a plain AI model fails without Reddit tools access, gives vague answers, and gives up. Then watch the transformation with the right tools and resources. The AI actually researches Reddit like a pro. Difference is not just the tools. It is also how you make tool read the resource and package it with your instruction. How is the model able to respond accurately about the subreddits and the topics? Answer lies in selective context. Tools can provide the context by extracting the arguments and intent. Reddit data can be accessed through its Python SDK with the correctly authorized account and app credentials. What people overlook is that how to make the model correctly select the tool for the question, or more correctly, the intent at hand. Some intents that involve editing and modifying are best resolved with tools while intents that simply involve reading data are best handled through resources and their templates. Let's dive into how we can implement resources to extract Reddit data effectively. Go to MCP Reddit server folder in the repo. Resource like a tool is also a Python function. The decorator is having a URI which acts as the ID for the resource. The part of URI enclosed in curly braces can be modified with different values. Differences, resource is implemented to only read. In this line, we can see all the subreddits in Reddit is searched with a query that is taken from URI. Next resource has a simpler URI, which is reading a file and returning the data. That's how the resources are defined. How are they used? That's where the tools come in. Most people either don't know how to give AI the right context or think it's way too complex to control. When you have the tools read the resources, you can give just the right information based on what the user is asking. Creating the tools as wrappers around the resources is how we can do that. Let's take a few minutes, dismantle the URI of a resource, and study how URI parts can be used to precisely select the context. Purpose of the URI is to act as ID to the data. We can see the purpose of each part of the URI. We have two types of resources. Plain resources does not have curly braces in the URI while the template resource has the curly braces in the URI. Inside the curly braces, the ID can be changed like shown here, and different resources can be accessed. We can see here how the tool is called by the client. When it calls, the arguments for the tools is also sent. Resource IDs are formed inside the tool function using the arguments. Then resources are read with the URI. Data that is read is packed as context and sent to LLM. Let's dive into the code and show how to implement our learning into practice. Here is the tool implementation, reading a plain resource. Here we see the resource defined. Next, we will look at tool using a template resource, getting data by searching Reddit. Here is the template resource defined that defined with template URI. The query will be supplied by the tool after extracting the subreddit name from it. The next piece of the puzzle is deceptively simple, yet often misunderstood, prompts. In MCP, prompts act as the glue between your context and the user's query, guiding the model to generate accurate, relevant answers. Prompts live either inside the client or within the tools, tailored to manage specific tasks. Let's review how prompts builds the context and hands it to LLMs. Data is read from the resources, and the instruction on using the data is provided by the prompts. Now let's dive into examples and see how they actually work in code. This prompt here just takes a comment as input and wraps it in the instruction. Next prompt is interesting. It is taking the context and the query from the user and glues them together in the instruction. 
If you thought having tools, template resources, and prompts would make things a walk in the park, you couldn't be more wrong. More moving parts mean more chances for things to break, and some of those bugs can be seriously hard to track down. Running your server with the MCP inspector is like having X-ray vision into your MCP setup. You can see prompts, tools, resources, and exactly how data flows between them. Next up, let's watch the inspector in action. Start the MCP inspector with this command. Clicking on local host address, you can access the inspector on your browser. Connect to the server by clicking here. You can see prompts, resources, and tools here. When you click, the corresponding list of primitives will appear. Under Resources, clicking List Resources and Templates will list down the resources. Similarly, clicking on List Prompts will do the same for prompts. Same goes for the tools. We will get the list of tools. Clicking on the tools, we can test them by entering values and seeing the output. This is how we can debug. We can see the logs from the server here and the errors pop up here. Due to asynchronous working of the server, sometime the output may not reach and you might have to try again. You can test other tools the same way. Here we can see both tools working and in the process the resources are also tested. You can check the data that is read by resource to be sure. We can see the trending posts on the Reddit and the Verify by going to the Reddit website. You will see the topics, its upvotes, and the details are matching. We have seen how to use MCP Inspector on the server. The instructions are also available on the repo docs. There's one crucial step missing that makes an MCP server feel like magic. The ability for tools to write and update files locally on remote services like Notion or Reddit. That's exactly what we'll cover in the next video, using Python and MCP. Stay tuned.